Hi, I am Katarina and I am here to let you know about the consequences of the past evolutionary processes on the genetic gradients of current Asia. The genetic gradients have been used to analyze the genetic variation around the world. In particular, Cavalli and colleagues studied the Asian continent and found the genetic gradient with an east-west orientation. Still, different processes may explain or influence the genetic gradient, like population admixture, last glacial maximum, and long distal dispersal events. Here, we intend to clarify which process may be responsible for the obtained genetic gradient. So, we use special explicit simulations to simulate genetic data under a variety of scenarios. Then, we applied principal component analysis to estimate the genetic gradient from the simulated scenario. Our results showed that the Paleolithic genetic gradient was sensible to the LGM. When LGM is considered, the genetic gradient is similar to the observed one, with an east-west orientation. This genetic gradient may be a consequence of allele surfing. During LGM, the north of Asia was covered in ice, and humans had to retreat to the south, and later re-expanded towards the north. This direction is orthogonal to the orientation of the genetic gradient, which is expected in allele surfing. Our results also reveal that population admixture did not influence the genetic gradient, as you can see in topic 2 of the slide. Interestingly, our results showed that a factor that was more determining on the orientation of the genetic gradient is the number of Neolithic expansions. When two Neolithic expansions are considered, the genetic gradient has an east-west orientation. However, when only one Neolithic expansion is considered, the genetic gradient has a north-east-south-west orientation. We believe that in the former case, two Neolithic expansions with two opposite Geogra geographic origins may be inducing a genetic isolation between east and west combined with allele surfing. To conclude, both the LGM and the number of Neolithic expansions influence the genetic gradients. The scenarios with two Neolithic expansions reveal the most realistic gradients. LGM influenced mostly the Paleolithic population and favored the obtention of the real gradients. And finally, both allele surfing and genetic isolation could have occurred. I, I would like to acknowledge the Spanish government, the Portuguese government, Junta da Galicia and SESGA. Thank you for your attention.